The University of Limerick campus is situated on a 133 hectare site along the banks of the River Shannon on the outskirts of Limerick City. There is a wide range of academic and research buildings on campus, together with five student villages and extensive leisure and recreational facilities. With the overall size of the campus, it is important to familiarise yourself with the various academic buildings where your courses will be taking place. The main building is at the core of the campus. There are 11 other separate academic buildings on campus. In the plaza in front of the main building entrance, there is a very distinctive bronze statue often referred to as Brian Thomas or the Iron Man. With this statue as a starting point, we are going to show you some of the key routes around the campus. One of the key aspects of the university that you need to know is the address system that is used to identify the various offices, laboratories and lecture theatres. Each named building on campus has an individual code made up of one or two letters. This code always appears at the start of the address for a specific location and is used throughout the university as an identifier for each individual location. Often you will be given a location for a lecture, tutorial or a laboratory in the format of CS1045. So what does this mean? CS refers to the Computer Science Building. 1 tells you that it is on the first floor and 045 is the number for the computer laboratory. As we progress through the tour, these addresses will appear beside each of the buildings we visit. While standing beside the Iron Man in the main plaza, you can see a number of buildings. The main building, the foundation building, and the Glutzman Library. The main building with its distinctive glass fronted entrance consists of a series of five interconnecting blocks clustered in a rectangle around the original Plassey House. To your left is the Foundation Building with its thousand-seater concert hall. To the right and slightly behind you is the Glucksman Library. So now let's take a look at our first route. The first route will show us the Computer Science Building, the Chemi Business School and the Robert Schumann Building. So now let's go from the Iron Man in the plaza to the Computer Science Building. With the main building behind you, you proceed down the series of steps. Turn right onto the black path and in front of you is the Computer Science Building. If you are going to the Chemi Business School or Schumann Building, continue straight on the black path which will take you across the road and down by the side of the fountains. As you approach the sculpture, straight in front of you is the Chemi Business School and to your right is the Schumann Building. So now let's head back to the Iron Man for the next part of our tour. Our next route will take you to the Engineering Research Building, the Languages Building and the Health Science Building which is located on the opposite side of the river. From the Iron Man you walk to the left of the main building under the walkway. You cross the road and to your left you will see the Engineering Research Building. If you continue on past the bronze statues, this will bring you into the Millstream Courtyard. To your left is the Languages Building, and to your right is the entrance to the Living Bridge, which crosses the river at this point. It is a beautiful three minute walk across the river to the Clare Campus. As you proceed along the bridge, you will see the Health Science Building with its very distinctive roof on your right hand side, and the new Music Building to your left. Again, let's go back to the Iron Man for the final part of our tour. To the Kathleen Lonsdale Building, the Schrodinger Building, and the Sports Building. Leaving the plaza, go under the canopy of the Glucksman Library Building. Turn left past the sculpture. This pathway runs between the back of the stables complex and the main building. Continue along the back of the stables complex and you will see the Lonsdale building among the trees in front of you. Cross the road and take the pathway between the trees which leads you to the Lonsdale building. You can then continue on past the Materials and Surface Science Institute, turn left, across the small bridge and you are at the entrance to the Schrodinger building. 
If you need to get to the sports building, don't cross the road near the Lonsdale building, but turn left under the walkway and continue on a short distance. This will bring you down to these buildings. As a new student, it will take you a while to get to know the campus, and everybody understands this. So if you are unsure of where you are going, ask a member of staff or a fellow student for help. And enjoy your time here at the University of Limerick.